Hey you guys, it's Sarah. So today I'm going to be doing the mixed girl tag and I didn't get tagged by anybody but I feel like it's a relatively new tag so I'm just gonna go for it. Um, and yeah, so here we go. Question number one, what are you mixed with? So on my mom's side I'm Scottish and English and then on my dad's side I am Mexican and Spanish. Um, and then there's some like Native American thrown in there on my mom's side, but it's honestly so little I don't even count it. Question number two. What ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? I get every ethnicity under the sun. It's crazy. I get, you know, like Mexican, of course, and I get like white, and then I get Indian a lot. Um, I get Middle Eastern a lot. I've gotten like Ukrainian, so that was weird. Um, I used to get Filipino a lot. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Is your hair curly or straight? Um, well, this is my natural hair, but this is after I brushed it. So when I brush it, it goes straight. But if I just kind of like left it as when I woke up, it's like wavy. Was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Um. I wouldn't say it was like challenging. I have always like considered myself more in touch with my Caucasian side. Um, just because like I don't speak Spanish. I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food. Um, I live in a pretty white dominant area. Um, so I mean I wouldn't say it, it was challenging. I felt maybe like a little different because I don't really like fit in with like the white kids and I don't really fit in with like the Mexican kids but um, it's not, I don't think it's challenging. What backgrounds do you embrace the most? Um, I touched on this in the last answer, but like I said, I feel like I'm way more, like, in touch with my Caucasian side. Um, just because, yeah, like I said, I don't speak Spanish, don't like Mexican food. I only see, like, my Mexican side of the family maybe, like, twice a year or something because they live in Texas and I live in California. But, yeah. Have you ever been teased for being different? Um, I haven't been teased for being different. I have been teased because my last name is Sanchez, though. And But it's never like actual mean-hearted, mean-spirited teasing. It's more like my friends, um, like they like call me like something I don't really want to say because it makes me feel gross. But um, I'm sure you can guess what it is if my last name is Sanchez. But, um, I mean, it annoys me and it frustrates me and it does kind of, like, hurt me, but it's, it's definitely not as bad as, like, being bullied or anything like that, so I've never been bullied or anything. Have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? <laughs> um, yes. Not necessarily for being multiracial, but I have felt shame for being Mexican, which is really, really horrible, and thankfully I have overcome that, but when I was younger I definitely felt like, uh, ashamed, I guess, just because there are so many stereotypes about Mexicans and, like, I don't know. Do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? Um, not necessarily. Like, it's cool that I can put mixed or Latina on my test papers, so I'm more likely to get scholarships, but... Um, and I have like a pretty ethnic look so that's good for like my acting and modeling because it means I can portray a lot of different ethnicities but in general I don't think being mixed has any like pros or cons compared to someone who's like a full race what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing I would just say like the uniqueness of our looks like we all like if you're multiracial or mixed you look different and you look unique and I think that's really gorgeous and especially those mixed girls with like the tan skin like mine but really light eyes. Oh my goodness, they're so gorgeous. But um, yeah, so I would just say the looks, the ability to like, you have two sides of your culture. Um, like, I don't know, I think it's interesting that you get to learn about two cultures growing up instead of just one. And like, I don't know, what if one of your parents speaks it like another language or something? That's, I don't know, just... Stuff like that. Any advice to someone who struggles with their multiracial identity? I would just say just be yourself. Like, don't worry about am I more white than I am Mexican? Am I more 
black than I am Asian am I more whatever like it does not matter at all like what you identify with just like be yourself listen to the music you like like learn a language if you're interested in it not because you feel like you have to just like realize that like in the big scheme of things your ethnicity doesn't matter that much like you are a person just like anybody else even if they're 100% white or 100% Korean or 100% whatever they're struggling with stuff that you're struggling with too so I just say just be yourself do life you go <laughs> okay you guys and that was all of the questions um yeah just do this for fun it's really it's nice to think about this because I don't think about like me being mixed at all really like it's just it's just who I am so it was nice to think about it and talk about it and stuff like comment subscribe follow my Instagram I'll put it up here somewhere I don't know but uh, yeah so I'll catch you guys later